We're going to have a look at this generator I bought from Princess Auto. I picked it up. It was a hot buy sale item. It only cost, uh, I believe it was just a little over $200. So it was a huge, uh, huge bonus as far as um, getting a 3300 watt generator. I believe it's um, 3,300 watts peak, and I believe it's 2,200 run. It uh, um, it's pretty pretty nice generator. It's heavy uh, to lug around, of uh, uh, most of these ones are, and it will run at 96 decibels at full tilt. And uh, I've had this sitting around. I didn't even. Uh, um, run it when I bought it. I just basically bought it because it was such a good deal. Threw it in the um, threw it in the basement and just kept it just in case of any emergencies. So this was the uh, first time I pulled it out, and of course I have cheat notes on the top. So when the wife or the boy uh, need to use this when I'm not around, they can actually um, run it without me, which is kind of important. So today I took it out for the first time. Um, it's uh, It started up a little bit of difficulty. I had to use uh, some quick start. Uh, it doesn't have a battery, uh, a battery starter on it. So uh, I used some uh, quick start fluid and got it running in short order. The only problem is that it did not want to idle properly. So straight out of the box. Um, now it could be because it was sitting around for such a long time. I don't really know. I'm going to try it again in, uh, in another month or so and just uh, test it every month. But um, I think uh, uh, I may have to open the carburetor and adjust the mixture. I had to basically run it on about a quarter choke the whole time to keep it steady. So we're going to uh, look at um, the uh, how it runs under power. Uh, we're also going to do a uh, uh, a check as far as the sine wave that comes out of it and the voltages and see what they're like uh, for the AC and the DC, and we'll uh, share that information together. Just a look at the equipment I'm going to be using for this test. Um, got my oscilloscope. Uh, it's not very powerful, um, but it gets the job done. It's I believe it's only rated up to 50 volts, so you can't plug it directly into a wall outlet. But what you can do is you can run it through a step-down transformer, and that's what I've done. I've uh, uh, watched on another video where um, a couple people have made. Uh, I've made these devices and what it basically is is you plug it in the wall and um, it runs the power through a 60 uh, 40 watt 60 watt light bulb and um, it basically only allows let's say you're running a 40 watt light bulb only allows uh, 0.3 amps through the light bulb into the outlet so if you have a dead short, it's going to blow a light bulb um, as opposed to uh, a fuse. And you can actually see uh, when it happens and it's easy to replace. And uh, um, it's, it's just a neat, uh, a neat thing. Um, I made one modification to this box is that I put a 110 volt to 24 volt um, transformer inside. Uh, so it's a straight AC transformer, I'm sorry, uh, to, to a 10 volt, uh, 120 to 10 volt. And uh, I put the taps coming out here. So it's 10 volts AC and it is fused um, on one side, which is, I should fuse both sides, but I didn't. <laughs> um, but basically, it's all this one is here for is to hook up uh, my 
um, oscilloscope to view the waveform of, I just plug this into any device and I'll see a waveform of uh, what's coming into the plug. So those are the devices I've used and uh, um, standard multimeter to uh, verify voltages and uh, let's see uh, what we'll find. Well, that was interesting. Um, just to recap, uh, I have been thinking whether or not to sell this. I think it's it's perfectly good to use. I'm sure for uh, for using electronics, uh, the sine wave is uh, definitely a sine wave when you run um, induction motors uh, like the vacuum cleaner there it did suffer a bit uh, the sine wave did did uh, change and it wasn't pure and it uh, when I ran a compact fluorescent light it had uh, a bit of noise there so um, I've been pondering getting an inverter generator which are three times the cost of a standard or twice the cost of a standard but I think uh, it may be a worthwhile investment. A uh, few simple facts that uh, you pay the extra money, but you get a perfect sine wave. As well, you also get the decibel uh, drop. They're usually, they're, they're better cased. They'll run, uh, uh, they'll run about 68, 65, 68, 70 decibels. This is running at 96. And uh, obviously, um, there's that that makes quite a difference. So I'd like to be able to uh, have a conversation when standing next to it. Um, if the power does go out for a few days and uh, I'm running a generator, I I don't want to uh, um, draw any attention to myself. So.
that's uh, that's it. I think uh, I hope uh, this helps everyone out. Um, this is the uh, United Power generator. I'm sure it's under under several brands. Um, it is CSA rated, uh, which uh, is surprising. Um, coming from Princess Auto, you would think it would be, uh, um, you know, uh, straight off the off the boat, but it's. Uh, I mean, it is it is a stout unit. I think uh, it it would do its job properly, and I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit. And uh, I, but I still think I'm going to get the uh, uh, the pure sine wave inverters. Thanks, and uh, uh, stay in, stay tuned for more information on my channel. And I'll talk to you later.